Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Bish, the First Lady of the Organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him in His sanctuary. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. The Psalms tell us to praise the Lord with stringed instruments and organs. And we're going to do just that today. We have the Coral Ridge Chamber Orchestra, and we're going to be playing some of the greatest music of all time. When you hear this great music, composed by Bach, Mozart, Handel, and other composers, you cannot but help praise God for the gifts and talents He has given to men. You know, the Psalms again tell us Give unto the Lord the glory due His name. And we would like to open the program today by playing one of the great hymns of praise, Come Thou Almighty King. Let me read the words of the first verse to you. Come Thou Almighty King, help us Thy name to sing, help us to praise. Father all glorious, or all victorious, come and reign over us, ancient of days. to the music of Bach, one of the greatest composers that ever lived. But Bach was also a Christian, and he knew what it meant to really praise God with his music. He signed many of his compositions in the name of Jesus and to the glory of God. The number you'll be hearing now is from one of Bach's orchestral suites, the suite number three, and it's one of the most famous melodies of all time.
We go from the music of Bach now to the music of another great composer, Mozart. Mozart was a composer of the classical style of music and was born in Salzburg, Austria in 1756. Mozart was a child prodigy and by the time he was five years old he had written his first pieces and when he was 13 he had written symphonies, concertos and operas and pieces for the keyboard. Mozart had another incredible gift and that was the gift of his memory and his mind. He was able to compose pieces completely in his mind. And then when he wrote them on paper, they were almost exactly the same as he had conceived them. We're going to play for you a sonata by Mozart, which was written for performance in the Cathedral of Salzburg, Austria. These are taken from a set of works called the Church Sonatas. This is Sonata number 13 by Mozart.
In the next three numbers, we're going to be praising the Lord with another kind of stringed instrument, the harpsichord. The harpsichord, along with the organ, was the main keyboard instrument of Bach's day. If you will look at the harpsichord, you will see it is very ornamented, like the organs of Bach's day, and like the music. The side of the instrument is designed and carved, and when we look at the soundboard, we see that it is painted with flowers and birds and other ornamental drawings. All of the instruments were like this, and the music was also the same. It was very ornamented with a great number of trills and ornaments of all kinds. I happen to be very fond of this specific harpsichord because it was built at home from a kit. My father and I, several years ago, built this complete instrument from the quills and the jacks to the artwork which you see on the soundboard. The sound of a harpsichord is made by the string being plucked by a small quill which is found in 169 jacks that are placed in the harpsichord itself. Also, there are two keyboards, and you will see that the keys are reversed. Sometimes there is just one manual or keyboard, and sometimes there are three. There are also different stops on the harpsichord where one can change the sound by adding or subtracting the strings. I would like now to play a composition from Bach's well-tempered clavier, and then we will join the string orchestra in playing two movements of the Bach Orchestra Suite number three.
We have been praising God today on the joy of music with stringed instruments and organs. We can certainly praise him for the great talents that he has given unto men. Composers such as Bach and Mozart. And now we're going to be listening to a very famous number by Handel. Handel lived at the same time as Bach and is best known for his oratorio, Messiah. We're going to listen now to Handel's Largo. This work, although it's from one of Handel's operas, has been arranged for choir, and the words are these, Holy art thou, Lord God Almighty. Thank you for joining us today on the Joy of Music as we have praised God with stringed instruments and organs. We began the program today by playing one of the great hymns of praise, Come Thou Almighty King. And I would like to end the program today by reading the last verse of this great hymn. To thee, great one in three, eternal praises be. Hence. Evermore thy sovereign majesty, 
may we in glory see and to eternity love and adore. It is our purpose on the joy of music to praise God and to bring to you the joy that we have found in Christ. This is the true joy of music and we hope that you know that joy and that you have been able to really praise God with us today. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you again next week on The Joy of Music.